This video will cover phases 2 to 5, the No Man's Sky Adrift Expedition. The first phase of the expedition is covered in this video here. So if you haven't done that phase, click on this video, watch it first. You'll find a link in the description below and in the comments. So we're at the first rendezvous point. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to scan all the plants and all the animals and work on all the collection milestones. So that's a life reimagined milestone for scanning plants. Time on your feet will happen naturally. All that you can survey will happen later. Stirring the nest will do in another planet. Signs to nowhere will do as we go along. In the weeds, shooting hazardous flora, that will be easy to do. And we'll have to scan quite a lot of animals to get that not alone milestone. To get most of these done, we'll visit every planet in the first rendezvous point. So let's go to this planet with ancient bones on it. Let's shoot that plant. That's the last of the hazardous fauna done. Then use a scanner to find the ancient bones. Like me, you might only have to visit two sites, but you might have to visit more, but eventually you get that one done. That's bones to dust, done. Remember to collect all the flags and all the bit locations as you go along. And if you're feeling brave, you can shoot some eggs and collect them. You can either build a base or you can shoot the egg and then jump to the other side of the building and collect the eggs that way. You will have to find two locations and the best way to find the locations is to actually fly low and use your scanner and that will give you a little house icon which you can go to. If you feel as though you're in a little bit of danger, you can jump on top of the building. But they can sometimes still spit at you, so it might be worth jumping inside, but remember to shoot the plant inside or it will kill you. Don't forget, inside you might find a restore shield terminal. That's the last egg and the start of the nest. Milestone done. Let's put down the signal scanner. Do a scan using the one with the surge battery. Go to that location and interact with the comms tower. You'll get a nice bit of story here, but I'm not going to show it, don't mind any spoilers. But that's the faintest echo, milestone done. Let's go into space and click on Amidst the Stars Milestone. Then call in the anomaly. Head to the back of the anomaly. Interact with the prime terminal, get a bit more story. You'll be given the mind arc. If you don't have any activated copper, head to the teleporter and go back to the beginning. If you've only gone to the space station at the two rendezvous points, the first one and this one, you should only have two space stations in your log. But as soon as you get to that space station, go outside and go to the planet straight outside and that's where you'll find the activated copper.
If it's stormy, dig a hole, go underneath and mine from below. And not forgetting to do a little bit of scanning to get those animals and plants. Head back to the space station, go back to Rendezvous 1, so you stay on the path. Then we're going to head to the Starball planet. When we get to the surface, we can do a scanner to find any little flags. Remember to go land and pick them up as you go along and carry on scanning plants and animals as well. Then we're going to find some water on this planet. Go into the water and find some crystallized sulfide. Due to storage issues, I didn't collect it at this point, but you might want to collect some salt as well. But you want to collect 12 crystallized sulfides to get the lure of the deep milestone. Then we can go into space and go into galactic map. And at the first rendezvous point, you're going to find a desolate system just off to the left. If your camera is facing towards the center of the galaxy, the big white light bit. As soon as you enter the system, look for the dissident planet, the bit with the purple writing, at the bottom. Shoot the purple crystals that are scattered all over the ground. Scan animals and plants while you're here. And use your scanner to find radiant shards. You might have to walk the planet a bit to find them. Just remember to make sure your ship's got lots of launcher fuel so you can call it in whenever you want. And that's Call of the Void milestone done. We're now able to craft the Mind Arc. But while we're in this system, we can go to that Star Build planet and collect more plants and animals. And for me, that's the life reimagined milestone done. Then I headed to the Sodium planet to scan more animals. If you haven't got it already, remember to carry on scanning for buildings to get the flags. But that's a not alone milestone done. Then I'm going to select the second rendezvous point and head there. It's quite a bit of distance away. Remember all you have to do is select the milestone and it will give you the path. Not forgetting when it comes to rendezvous point, visit the space station. Making sure by getting it out of your ship it's put in your log. Then we can select amongst the stars milestone and call in the anomaly. Then head to the back of the anomaly and interact with the prime terminal. You'll get a bit of story and then we can leave the anomaly. The 
milestone is still selected, you should have the boundary portal marked, so go there. Install the mind arc, interact with it again, you'll get a better story. Then go through the portal. It'll leave you floating in space for quite some time, but you're quite safe. Eventually, you'll find yourself on a planet, but that's amongst the stars, milestone done. Reselect the second rendezvous point and go into space. Then go into the galactic map and see how far away you are from that second rendezvous point. For me, it wasn't too far away, so I could simply jump there. For you, it might be too far away, so you might have to go to a space station and then use the portal to get there. Now you know why I said to get in and out of your ship at each of the space stations at the rendezvous points. You may have to select rendezvous point 2 again due to mission slip, but then head to the planet. The location should be a trading post. But don't leave the planet just yet, find a nice high mountain. And for me, it wasn't quite high enough, so I just had to jump a little bit, and I got all that you can survey, milestone. Then I went to that tropical planet, scanned for buildings, collected the flag and got signs to know where milestone. At this point, I had been collecting all the milestones so quickly that I hadn't been popping them, which is quite important to do because it gives you some of the items that you need for future milestones. One of them being all the hyperdrives if you haven't started through the anomaly. Now we can select Rendezvous 3 and head there. Before going to the rendezvous point, remember to go to the space station and get in and out of your ship. Then leave the space station and head straight to rendezvous 3. When you get close to the location, do a scan to see if there's any nearby buildings. You'll probably find that that will be the rendezvous point. Then I'm going to go into space, select Rendezvous 4 and head there. Then I'm going to go to the space station, get in and out of my ship. I'm not going to go straight to the Rendezvous point, I'm going to go to the planet get out my signal booster and start scanning for runes. You can either scan for a couple of runes at once, but I wouldn't scan too many at one time, but you will most likely have to craft another surge battery at one point, and you might encounter a problem that I'm going to show you in a second.
the ancient artifact ruin site doesn't work. Fortunately for some reason this one doesn't count and some of them don't go deep enough so you can't dig out the treasure anyway. But you will have to visit them to remove them from your icon list and then you can progress this milestone. And that's Nameless History Milestone done. Now we can select Rendezvous 4 and head there. As you get close, do your scan to see any nearby buildings, in this case it's a crashed freighter. Then we go into space, select Rendezvous 5 and head there. As usual, head to the space station and get in and out of your ship. Once you leave the space station, head to the acrid planet with water on it. And if you didn't get the salt earlier, it's time to get some salt. Then we're going to build the Northland Chamber. Build a solar mirror so we can build the high powered sauna. Then we're going to scan for a crashed freighter. Then we can get out of the chamber, get in our ship, and fly to the location. When you get close to the location, you might see an island, or you'll have the ring sticking out of the water like I do. Land on that. Then dive down and drag the little ball. And that's the fathoms below, milestone done. To collect that milestone, you're going to have to call in your old ship as it upgrades the class of the ship and won't pop unless you call in the old one. And then you can switch back to your fully upgraded ship if that's the one you've got. Then select to dream of freedom milestone. Pulse in space for a bit. Keep an eye on the indicator at the bottom right when the random code stops appearing, drop out a pulse, you'll get a little bit of story, and to dream of freedom milestone is done. Then select Ghost in the Machine milestone, go to a nearby planet. Get out the signal booster, scan for a reality breach, It will mark a location, head there. Interact with the unknown grave, you get a better story, and the ghost of the machine milestone is done. And this is a good time to make some bread. Put down a neutron processor. Scan for some wheat. Refine the wheat into flour. Then refine some fecium into wild yeast. Combine them both into dough. Then 
then refine the dough into bread. And that's the by bread alone, milestone done. Then select a still small voice. Head into space and find the dark side of the planet. When you land and get out of your ship, simply stare at the stars for 60 seconds. And that's a still small voice, milestone done. Then select to dream of sleep and head into space. Pulse until the random code stops appearing. Interact with it, you'll get a bit of story. I had to pulse a little bit closer to get the to dream of sleep milestone. For most people, it's a live milestone. You simply click on it and follow the path in the galactic map. But for me and quite a few others, that didn't quite work. I've got a guide on how to get around that here. You'll find the link in the description below and in the comments. To do the derelict freighter, you might want to install this bit of technology. Which means you might have to go back to a frost crystal planet. Find some frost crystals to look like this on the surface. Install some hazmat gauntlets. Collect some frost crystals. Combine the frost crystals with some salt to make some dioxide or you can scan the planet for dioxide itself. But after that, remember to return to the normally to return to rendezvous point 0.5. Select the dereliction milestone. Head into space and pop the emergency signal scanner. Of course, pulse for a little bit. This frigate might appear, so interact with that and then start pulsing again. And then the derelict freighter will appear. The Derelict Freighter, I'm going to show you the entire run, but I'm going to speed it up by three times. So you can either watch it at that speed, or you can slow it down. But it'll give you a good idea where everything's at and where the dangers are. Or you can simply skip ahead five and a half minutes.
They actually did this run a couple of times because I extracted nanites and knock technology and it didn't count. So remember, extract the technology, nothing else. And when you claim that milestone, you're given a freighter. Claim the freighter, which will give you the ability to claim the frigate as a reward. But the freighter itself isn't really worth much. It's purely given to you, so you can claim the frigate. Then select Rendezvous 5. Head to the Rendezvous planet. This rendezvous is in a really awkward spot, so I had to go on foot. Of course, the sentinels can be annoying, and they also scan for contraband at this point as well. There can be a few bases nearby that can mess things up as well a little bit. But I'll go into camera mode so you can get a sense of roughly where I am. I don't know if it'll help much, but hopefully you'll find it useful. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button, or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.